Hello everyone. In this video, we'll set out a project in the Vivado and Vitus Unified IDE to create a simple controller on Basis 3 FPGA board to manage LEDs, push buttons, and switches using a microblaze processor. First of all, click Create Project in Vivado. We can change our project name to number 1, LED, Button, Switch. Click Next. Choose RTL project and do not specify sources at this time because we don't need any RTL code in this project. And please note that do not select the extensible Vitus platform. This will induce a different flow in Vitus. Click Next. In this step, we need to select our FPGA board. Click Board. If this is your first time doing this, click Refresh to update the catalog and enter Basis 3. Choose our board and click Next. Click Finish. In this project, we don't need to create our own audio code. Instead, we can use the existing IPs in Vivado to construct our design. Click Create Block Design. Click OK. Then, in a diagram window, right-click and select Add IP. First, we can create a clock source by searching for clock and selecting clock wizard. You can double-click the clock block to check that we are using the 100 MHz clock. And then click Run Connection Automation to connect system clock and system reset. Next, right click and select add IP. We need to create our microprocessor by searching for micro and selecting microblast. Click run block automation to automatically include some IPs required by microblast. We can change the local memory to 32k bytes and Click OK. Next, for the communication between our computer and FPGA board, we need to add a UR port. We can click board here. This region shows all the available components on our basic 3 board. We can directly drag the UR port to the diagram. Next, we need to connect microblasts to the LEDs, buttons, and switches. To do this, we need to create an XI interface between microblasts and our components. Right-click and select Add IP, then search for AXI GPIO and select it. Rename the first XI GPIO to LEDs. And then we do it again for the buttons. Rename the XRGPIO to buttons. And then we do it one more time for the switches. Rename the XRGPIO to switches and then we need to connect our GPIO to our output ports we can click board here and find out our target peripherals right click on switches then choose the AXI GPIO for the switches choose the first GPIO port and click OK and then we do it again for the LEDs I click on LEDs, click Connect Board Component, choose the EXI GPIO for the LEDs, choose the first GPIO port and click OK. Last, we do it again for the buttons. Right click on Buttons, click Connect Board Component, choose the EXI GPIO for the buttons, choose the first GPIO port and click OK. Then, we can right click on the diagram and click on Regenerate Layout 
to make our connection look better. So, here we can see we have four of the ports: UART, LEDs, push buttons, and switches. But they are not connected to microblades yet. We can click Run Connection Automation and select All to connect all our XIGPIO to microblades. We can regenerate layout again. And uh, our block design is now complete. Then we need to create HDL wrapper. Click Source and right click our design and select Create HDL wrapper. Now we are ready to do the synthesis and generate the bitstream. We can directly click the Generate bitstream. Click OK. After successfully generating the bitstream, we need to export our hardware to Vitus. Click File, Export, Export Hardware. Next, select Include Bitstream. Next, Next, finish. Then we can click Tools to launch Vitus IDE.